Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to root the Nexus Player. Now at its core, the Nexus Player is an Android device. That means most everything that applies to your smartphone also applies to this streaming player. And of course that includes the ability to root as well. You really don't need much to root this thing either, because it's truly a Nexus. Just grab a USB data cable and have a PC on standby and you're all ready to go. So to start, go ahead and flip your Nexus Player over. The Bluetooth pairing button on the bottom here also serves as a quick way to boot into bootloader mode. Basically, start by unplugging the power cable from the device. Give it a couple seconds to let any capacitors clear their charge, then press and hold the button on the bottom. After that, just plug the power cable back in, and while you're still holding that button down, take note of the little light on the bottom. When it starts to blink, go ahead and let go of the button. If you look at your display at this point, you should see the bootloader menu coming up. So let me show you how that looks. Alright, basically you're just looking for this screen. If your Nexus player is showing this menu right now, you're ready to go. So next, grab a micro USB cable and plug one end into your computer with the other end going into the back of the Nexus player. At this point, your Nexus player is in bootloader mode so it can receive commands from the computer that it's connected to. The next part of the process will be done on the PC, so let's head over there. Now on your PC, there are a few files that you'll need to download. I have each of these linked out at the full tutorial, so head over there to get all of the downloads you'll need. First up is Chainfire's root image. This is the file that we'll be using to actually root the device. So get that downloading. The next up are the universal ADB drivers from Kush. Oh, and you'll have to click keep on these next two if you're using Chrome, by the way. Finally, in order to send the commands we'll be using, you'll need to download ADB. I'm using minimal ADB and fastboot, which is a slimmed down version that only installs the stuff you need. Then once the files are all downloaded, go ahead and launch the Universal ADB Driver Installer. From here, click Run, then follow the prompts for installation. When that's done, launch the Minimal ADB and Fastboot Installer file. Again, just follow the prompts, and when that's done, you'll see an ADB command window. Leave that open for now, and head to your Downloads folder. From here, extract the contents of the root Nexus player zip, then look for the root.img file. To simplify things, you'll need to copy this file and move it over to the minimal ADB program folder. You should find that in C, Program Files x86, Minimal ADB and Fastboot. So paste that in here, then the rest will be done with the ADB command prompt window. First, type Fastboot space devices. If it spits out these letters and numbers, that means everything is connected properly and you're ready to move on. Next, we'll be unlocking the bootloader. This will wipe all of the data on your device, so keep that in mind. Type fastboot space OEM space unlock and hit enter. You'll see an error message the first time you run this command, but that's to be expected. Next, just enter the same command one more time to confirm your choice here. Mine is showing an error the second time, but that's because I've already unlocked my bootloader. Yours, on the other hand, should give a message that says unlocking device. When that's finished, type fastboot space boot space root dot img then hit enter this will temporarily boot your device with elevated privileges but in order to make it all permanent there's some stuff we'll need to do back on the nexus player all right so to wrap stuff up look through the apps on your nexus player and you'll find super su launch it then it'll tell you that the binaries need to be updated click continue here then it'll ask which installation method you want to use so go ahead and click normal and super su will permanently root your nexus player when that's done, you'll be asked to reboot the device, so go ahead and do that. After you get back up, you'll be fully rooted, which opens up a lot of cool mods, so stay tuned for those. In the meantime, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. But we'll see you again next time, folks, and until then, happy gadget hacking.